Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be testing the Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. As I said, today we are testing the Viking Hand Axe by Cold Steel. Now, in my previous episode where I showed how I customized and modded my Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe, and for that I will put a link in the description box below, as you guys will be able to see from the last video, I actually done a few more touch-ups to this thing. Now, I was actually up at the knife shop this weekend so I was able to put a deeper profile on the edge to bring it basically pushed it back quite a lot farther. And I actually hand carved these Viking ruins. Now, for anybody watching, I'm going to put it right here. If anybody can tell me what that says, bonus points. Drop down in the comments below and let me know what it says in English. Also, with the customizing video that I did, I did some preliminary testing of the out of the box, um, how it comes out of the box with the way the, the bevel and the edges and their heat treat and how it just performs. Now, it did admirable. It did really, really well. But as I think you'll be able to see in this version of testing, this axe just exceeds at all expectations. But that is because it has been completely overhauled. It is not anywhere close to what you get out of the box it is be, it's just literally a brand new wax the the blank that i got from cold steel was essentially that after all of the work that got put into it was essentially a blank being able to properly heat treat this to temperature and actually get the hardness on the edge that you need and all that stuff is crucial and having proper edge alignment is very important to make sure that it holds its edge, has really good cut performance, it bites in deep when it hits those chops, and it just provides you with a very useful, functional, beautiful, and very devastating tool. Now, without wasting any more time, let's jump straight to the test footage. That thing bit in real, real, real hard. Just a few wax. Almost took that thing completely in half. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage as much as fun as I had being out in the woods and just chopping on some dead wood and 
hacking up on some old, really nasty 2x4s and just kind of having a good fun. Um, my buddy Casey was out there also, and um, we have a really cool uh, knife-making um, knife making video coming up soon, actually from his shop, which is going to be really exciting, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, um, as you can see, with the, re the complete reprofile of Edge and really bringing that Edge back and putting a nice, clean um, surface on it, properly hardening this area up here, really gave the axe and proper edge alignment really allowed this thing to just blow chunks out of the dead wood, hit really hard, bite a little bit deeper, and just was able to take something that traditionally should be considered hard work and made it easier because you could get farther faster. Now, is this designed for tree felling and chopping? Nah, not necessarily. The Vikings use it for such, pretty much. But they also used it because it was lightweight for self-defense, fighting, going to war, all that jazz. But um, that pretty much does it for this episode. But uh, in advance, I thank you guys in, uh, for liking this video. Uh, definitely lets me know all the hard work that I'm putting into the content like this means a lot to you guys. And sharing this video out means uh, the world to me because you guys are actually going out of your way to share the videos that I am spending a lot of time making and letting all your other friends and your family and people in your network see it as well. And it helps me grow and just keep being able to do what I do. And it, it's, it honestly, it feels really good when every time I find out you guys share this stuff out. And um, subscribe to this channel because I have a lot more videos coming for some more tomahawks, axes, possibly fingers crossed swords, and a bunch more knives coming in the future. So, but that does it for today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out.